As you are working in your Schoology assessment area, you might notice in the questions tab that there's an option to add from an item bank. An item bank is something that is available inside of your Schoology resources. And basically what an item bank is, is it is a collection of questions that you have previously made, or think about it like a database of previously made questions that you're able to go through and select which ones you then want to add to to a specific course assessment. This is a nice feature because as you continue working with assessments, you can go into previously made questions and select a couple that you would like to then quickly pull over into a course assessment, making your creation a little bit quicker. Within your resources, you have the ability to make these item banks in either your personal resources, which are going to be available just to you, or in your group resources. If you happen to be part of a group and you're administrator for a group, you and all of those other people in the group under the administrators are going to be able to not only add questions to that item bank, but then also take them and import them into whichever assessment that you're currently creating. So for this example, I'm in my resources tab and I'm under my personal resources. You're going to see that I have a home collection um, and there are several folders in there. And I also have other different collections that I have made. A collection is just a fancy term for a file folder. So think about this as just a way to organize different topics or um, types of materials or for grade levels or units that you're doing within Schoology. So I've already made a collection called Schoology assessments and inside of this collection you're going to see that I have several things. I have two different assessments that I've previously created and this would then allow me to quickly add this to a course that I currently want this assessment to be in. I also have this other item bank down here and it looks like it has the assessment puzzle piece that's inside a file folder. So once I click on to this item bank, it's going to bring me inside and I'm going to be able to see these different questions that I have available. So to begin creating an item bank, I'm going to go back to my resources and I'm just going to decide to put this inside of my Schoology assessments. Then what you're going to do is you're going to come up to the button that says add resources and you're going to look for the option that says add an item bank. This is going to open up a new screen that lets you title and give a description for this item bank. So maybe I want this to be called grade five math unit two. You can add a description if you'd like, but that is totally optional. And once you have finished this, you can click on create. Now this is your new item bank. And right now it's empty because you have not added any questions to it. So you're going to see that this is going to look very familiar to when you were building your assessments and you're going to have all of your different question types available to you. So I'm going to here, come in here and choose multiple choice and I'm going to develop my questions um, here and then choose my options and pick my correct answer setup. Once I'm all finished with my question, I can click on save and you're going to notice that you now have this question available to you in your new item bank. You can add up to 200 questions per item bank so you can just keep going um, and building your questions as you go along. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back into our Schoology course where we are working on an assessment here and creating our questions. So right now I'm building this sample assessment here and if I wanted to review this, I could review this and then I'm also going to now have the ability to add questions from an item bank. So when I click on this, it's going to ask me, well, from which area of your resources do you want to pull these questions from? I know that I have created this in my personal resources under my Schoology assessments collection, and I'm going to now see two different item banks there. I was just working on the grade five math unit two, and when I open this up, I would see all of the questions that I have available to me. When I check this off, this means that I want to take this question and pull it into that uh, assessment that I was just working on. If I had multiple, I could go down and check off all of the different questions that I would like. Once I click on the bottom, add that one item, it's going to tell you that one item has been added and you're going to see that all the way to the bottom of your list here. You could do this as many times as you wanted. So for instance, if I knew I had questions in another area, 
under my personal resources, my assessments, and maybe I wanted to take something from a different unit, I could select all of these items and automatically add those in, and they're going to be going down to the bottom of my list. So your item bank is a really great tool for you to work on, especially if you're working with assessments a lot and you know that you're going to want to be using those questions over and over throughout the year. A couple of things to note is that when you are taking items and you import them into your course assessment from an assessment bank, this is now a copy of it. So this question is no longer linked to your item bank. So if you wanted to come in here and modify this question and change a few things up, you could do that without it affecting the original question in your item bank. Another thing to take note of is that if you are working on building an assessment in your course, at this time, you are not able to take these questions that you've made in your course assessment and add them to your item bank. Right now, it only works one way, but Schoology has that on the roadmap of different options that they're going to add. So right now, you only have the ability of taking from the item bank and putting it into your course assessment. You cannot create an item or a question in your course assessment and then go back to add it to your item bank. I hope this is helpful for you as you uh, continue working with creating different assessments.